Hi folks, this is Shafik. Today we are going to perform facial recognition on a large scale database with non-metric space library or shortly NMSLib in Python programming language. But before we begin, please like the video. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest videos. Also, your comments are more than welcome. Thank you for your all support in advance. Even though our task is depending on facial recognition, this approach can be adopted into any vector search problems such as reverse image search or natural language processing applications. NMSLib applies approximate nearest neighbor algorithm instead of k nearest neighbor or shortly KNN. The competitors of this library is Spotify Enoy, which stands for approximate nearest neighbor OE and Facebook Face, which stands for Facebook AI Similarity Search. All of those libraries are applying approximate nearest neighbor algorithm to search nearest neighbors of a vector in billions level much faster than KNN algorithm. Also, Elasticsearch wraps NMSLib library directly to perform fast search. Suppose that we have two dimensional vectors. The reason why we picked number of dimensions as two to visualize them easily, but in real world we have multi-dimensional vectors. For example, FaceNet facial recognition module generates 128 dimensional vectors. For instance, if you want to find the three nearest neighbors of the blue highlighted vector in the center of this graph, KNN algorithm requires to compare this vector with all other vectors. Thereafter, you have to sort the distance values to find the three nearest ones. Its time complexity is O n log n. On the other hand, approximate nearest neighbor algorithm requires O log n time complexity because as you can see here, it compares vectors in this order. You don't have to compare blue highlighted one with all other vectors. Your search space is Increased. The vectors are going to be facial embeddings generated by facial recognition models in our case. On the other hand, if you are working with natural language processing problem, thereafter those points are going to be worked. What's more, reverse image search requires to represent images as vectors as well. Let's start hands-on programming. As a prerequisite, we are going to install the NMSLib package with pip install NMSLib command. This is going to install the package itself and as dependencies. Thereafter, you will be able to import NMSLib. Thereafter, I'm going to use the unit test items of the base library as my facial database. You can access the dataset here. To load the unit test items, I'm going to import the OS module and call operating system walk and as input argument, I'm going to pass the path of that folder. The phrase tests and dataset Walk command is going to return root directory and files. And files is a Python list here. That's why I'm going to build a for loop for file in files. And finally, let's print each file. Also, I'm going to append the root as prefix. Then I'm going to exclude non-image files. That's why here I'm going to add a if condition and it checks that JPEG is in the File name. Now I'm able to represent those facial images as embeddings with a facial recognition model. That's why I'm going to import the DeepFace library from DeepFace, import DeepFace. And this is going to be my image path. I'm going to call DeepFace.represent. Image path is going to be image path here. Model name is going to be model name. Let's define it here. I'm going to use FaceNet module in this experiment. Thereafter, detector backend is going to be detector backend, and I'm going to define it here. Let's use empty CNN. This pair is robust option in DeepFace, and this is going to return embedding objects. Embedding objects variable is going to be a Python list, and its size will be the number of faces in this image path. That's why I'm going to build a for loop here for embedding object and embedding objects and here I'm going to get at embedding gate. This is going to be my embedding. Before this for loop I'm going to create a instances list and 
once embedding created i'm going to append at here i'm going to use image path as first argument and embedding as second argument now i can run this block this is going to take some time it says model name is not defined because i forgot to run the stuff once this block is over i'm going to have 71 different embeddings now i'm going to create a synthetic data let's build a for loop for i in branch and starting from current number of instances to 1 million thereafter file name is going to be synthetic underscore i dot jpeg thereafter i'm going to create a embedding import random module first thereafter call random dot goes and generate a value between minus 0 0.5 to plus 0 0.5 thereafter for set in branch number of instances actually facenet module produces 128 dimensional vectors you can confirm that here let's get at zero index value let's get at one index value it's going to return the embedding find the number of dimensions it's going to be 128 and append this chant value to instances k is going to be my image path and value is going to be my embedding now i have 1 million embeddings and i'm going to store those 1 million embeddings into nmslib let's store embeddings into nmslib index is going to be nmslib.init and space is going to be l2 this is going to apply euclidean distance once nmslib index is created then i'm going to call index dot at data point batch and here i'm going to pass embeddings and this should be numpy array but here i have instances and it's a python list and also it's each item stores both k and value that's why i'm going to extract just embeddings from instances for image path and embedding and instances before this for loop let's create embeddings list and append each embedding into embeddings list thereafter i'm going to import numpy import numpy and its alias is going to be mp and after this for loop i'm going to call embeddings is going to be numpy dot array embeddings and its data type should be float now i have embeddings and let's check its type that's numpy array and also let's check its shape 1 million vectors and each vector has 128 dimensions now i'm able to add those embeddings into my nmslib index but before that let's import time module and before and after this line i'm going to call time.time .time and i give names tick and talk and difference between those variables is going to be the taken second it's completed in 0.7 seconds the challenging time then i'm going to create index in the nms lips create index and pass those default argument and let's find out the taken time also it's going to be taken more than adding data points once embeddings are stored in nms lib index and index is created i'm able to find the target vector into my space here i'm going to use target.jpg in my environment as target image and call represent function for this image similarly i'm going to use same model name which is facenet and same detector backend which is ntcnn and it's going to return an embedding objects and at size is going to be the number of faces appearing in the target image but i know that that target image is having just one face that's why i'm able to access that zero index value and thereafter i'm going to get that embedding cake and this is going to be my target embedding this is my target image and i'm going to look for the identity of angelina julie in my deep face unit test items please notice that this image is not available in the deep face unit test items so we are going to find the nearest facial images once our target embedding is ready 
I'm going to call index.k9creatorpage and pass target embedding as input. Let's convert this to numpy array first and set that data type to float. K is going to be 3. Let's find the 3 nearest neighbors. This is going to be my result and let's highlight the taking time for the search. It throws an exception and it says that data must be two dimensional array but I'm passing a numpy array with 128 dimensional. I'm going to call numpy dot expand dimensions pass numpy array as input and access is going to be zero. This is going to be my target embedding. Now let's shape as one and 128 searching is performed just milliseconds this is really challenging now i'm going to see the results it returns neighbors and also distances as a list i'm going to get at zero index value and this is going to be neighbors and second item is going to be distances let's focus on neighbors here it returns index values 45 41 and 46 let's find the image names from those index remember that we are storing everything in instances and to get at 45 index value this stores both image name and embedding i'm going to get at zero index value to get the file name this says that image 6 is the nearest one let's find out the index 41 image 5.jpg is the second nearest one and finally, let's find the index 46. This is image 7.jpg. Let's find those images in unit test items. Image 6, it's a portrait of Angelina Judy. Second nearest one, image 5, is a portrait of Angelina Judy. And the last one, image 7.jpg, it is a portrait of Angelina Judy. And this was my target image. And as you can see, image 5, image 6, and image 7, they're all portrait of Angelina Judy so our anon search is broken so in this video we implemented approximate nearest neighbor search with nms lib library and our use case was depending on facial recognition we are able to find nearest vectors of a vector just in milliseconds with this approach thank you all for watching and see you next time